Japan and Germany are about 8,000 kilometers apart, but they have a lot in common. Both nations are major economic powers, with Japan boasting one of the largest economies in the world and Germany being a powerhouse in Europe. They share a history of technological innovation and are known for their highly developed industrial sectors. What's particularly fascinating about their geography is that nearly 70% of Germany's population lives within 100 miles of its borders with France, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Denmark, while Japan sees a similar concentration of its population along the coastal areas and in major urban centers like Tokyo and Osaka. If Japan and Germany were one economy, they would be among the top five largest economies globally behind the United States and China. They both have similar levels of GDP per person, with Japan at around $45,000 and Germany at $50,000 when you consider purchasing power parity. In terms of economic structure, both countries exhibit striking similarities in their advanced manufacturing sectors, including the automotive, machinery, and electronics industries. However, Japan relies more heavily on exports and has a larger share of its economy dedicated to high-tech manufacturing compared to Germany. If you look at how their stock markets have performed over the past few decades, you'll see that they follow similar trajectories. That's because both countries have highly developed financial systems and export-oriented economies. Back in the 1980s, Japan experienced an economic boom fueled by its manufacturing prowess, while Germany underwent a similar period of economic growth following reunification in the 1990s. Now, several decades later, both countries are facing challenges such as aging populations and increasing competition from emerging economies. The ups and downs of globalization and technological change are tough, but Japan and Germany have managed to stay strong through it all. At their peaks, both countries were leading exporters of manufactured goods, with Japan dominating industries like automotive and electronics, while Germany excelled in machinery and precision engineering. But when the global financial crisis hit in 2008, both countries faced significant economic downturns, leading to decreased demand for their exports and sluggish growth. Similar economic challenges have occurred in recent years, including trade tensions and the COVID-19 pandemic, which have disrupted supply chains and dampened consumer spending. Their business landscapes are near identical too. For example, Toyota, a Japanese company, is one of the largest automakers in the world, and Volkswagen from Germany is right behind it. However, when you look at the biggest companies globally by revenue, according to Fortune, you'll see that many are either American or Chinese, while the top Japanese firm, Toyota Motor Corporation, is ranked only 16th, and the top German firm, Volkswagen AG, is ranked 13th. This shows that Japanese and German firms face stiff competition in the global market. It also indicates that the world's largest economies, such as the United States and China, have a significant advantage in terms of market size and access to resources. In Japan, the two largest conglomerates, Toyota and Sony, control a significant portion of the market share across various industries. In Germany, companies like Volkswagen and Siemens dominate sectors such as automotive and engineering. And it's not just manufacturing and technology. In both countries, domestic industries such as healthcare and finance are dominated by a few key players. The list goes on. If companies need to reach a certain scale to be economically viable, for instance to afford necessary investments in research and development, then a small economy may struggle to sustain more than a few players in various industries. Notably, Japanese and German companies are known for their innovation and quality standards. Fittingly, Japan has produced several top electronics brands, just as Germany is renowned for its precision engineering and luxury automobile brands. And of course, both countries are home to global giants in sectors such as automotive, electronics, and pharmaceuticals. Germany boasts a highly skilled workforce and a strong emphasis on engineering and manufacturing, while Japan is known for its cutting-edge technology and efficiency in production processes. By collaborating on research and development and sharing best practices, Japan and Germany have the potential to drive innovation and maintain their competitive edge in the global marketplace. However, there are challenges ahead. Both countries face demographic challenges due to aging populations and declining birth rates, which could impact their long-term economic growth. Moreover, increasing competition from emerging economies and rapid technological change requires constant adaptation and innovation. Let's talk about these problems in detail. Did you know that Japan is one of the highest proportions of elderly people in the world? It's surprising to learn that one in every three people in Japan is older than 65, compared to only one in eight in the US. Additionally, Japan boasts one of the longest life expectancies globally. Imagine living in a place where it's quite common to meet individuals in their 90s or even celebrating their 100th birthday. That's a significant number of candles on the cake. However, while it's wonderful that people are living longer and healthier lives, it also presents some challenges. Consider this. 
With more people entering their senior years, there's an increased demand for healthcare, support services, and importantly, a dwindling younger population to drive the country forward. The first major challenge to address now is the shrinking workforce. In 2015, the number stood at 75.45 million, and as of 2022, it has decreased to 65 million. One crucial measure to consider is the dependency ratio. In 2019, for every 100 working age individuals, 64 older individuals who were not part of the workforce relied on them, and now that figure has increased to 73. The diminishing workforce has resulted in labor shortages across various sectors, notably in healthcare, construction, and agriculture. Japan's healthcare system faces immense pressure as the demand for elderly care services surges while the number of healthcare professionals struggles to keep up. Similarly, the construction industry, essential for Japan's infrastructure development and maintenance, grapples with severe labor shortages, impacting the country's ability to undertake large-scale projects and disaster recovery efforts. In response to these challenges, the Japanese government has implemented several initiatives. One significant policy change has been the gradual relaxation of Japan's immigration policy to address labor shortages. In 2019, Japan introduced a new visa system to attract foreign workers to sectors experiencing acute shortages, marking a notable departure from its traditionally stringent immigration stance. Moreover, the government has been actively promoting women's participation in the workforce through its Womenomics initiative, aiming to foster a more inclusive labor market. Many companies are extending the retirement age beyond the traditional 60 years to retain older employees for longer periods. But questions arise about whether this alone is the solution. With the aging population, healthcare costs are also increasing. Diseases such as diabetes, dementia, and heart problems have become increasingly prevalent. Japan currently allocates a significant 10.9% of its GDP to healthcare, with a substantial portion directed towards elderly care. As the population continues to age, this percentage is expected to rise even further. On the other hand, the aging population in Germany is a significant demographic trend. In the 20th century, there was a notable increase in life expectancy, with individuals who reached the age of 65 expecting additional years of life. For instance, in 1900, those who turned 65 could expect around 11.9 more years of life, which increased to 13.9 years by 1950 and 16.1 years by 1978. Despite advancements in healthcare, eliminating cancer and heart disease would only lead to a modest increase in life expectancy, with an estimated additional 7 years for women and 8 years for men. This data underscores that while life expectancy has improved, it has not resulted in the unlimited lifespan envisioned by some. Additionally, the aging population poses economic challenges to modern society, with concerns about the social and economic impact of a growing elderly demographic particularly evident with the aging baby boomer generation in the US. One of the key reforms that Japan has implemented is the introduction of a new work-style reform law, which aims to promote work-life balance and equal opportunities for women in the workforce. The law includes measures such as limiting overtime hours, promoting flexible work arrangements, and requiring companies to disclose their gender diversity policies. These reforms are expected to help increase labor force participation and improve productivity, which will ultimately lead to higher wages and inflation. In Germany, the need for structural reforms is driven by the challenges of deglobalization and digitization. The country's economy is highly dependent on exports, making it vulnerable to global economic shifts and trade tensions. The rise of protectionism and the slowdown in global trade have had a significant impact on Germany's economic growth. Additionally, the increasing trend towards digitization has led to the displacement of jobs and the need for new skills and competencies. To address these challenges, Germany has been urged to enact structural reforms aimed at enhancing labor force participation, particularly among underrepresented groups such as immigrants and women. The country has also been encouraged to invest in education and training to equip workers with the necessary skills for the digital economy. Furthermore, Germany has been urged to promote innovation and entrepreneurship to maintain its competitiveness in the global market. While Japan and Germany have robust economies with strengths in various sectors, they also face significant challenges that could affect their future prosperity. Adapting to demographic changes, addressing resource constraints, and navigating global economic uncertainties will be critical for both countries to sustain their economic growth and competitiveness in the long term. But how do you think Japan's aging population will impact its economy in the coming years? Will Japan's reliance on imported energy resources affect its economic resilience amidst global energy market fluctuations? What are your thoughts on these pressing economic issues? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more insights. Also, be sure to watch our previous video on the German economy for deeper analysis and discussion.